Hello, this is Jenny Fern, and today I want to talk a little bit about uh, something I did this Sunday, which was collect some rose hips. So there are two rose bushes um, in the front yard of the place that I live, and um, I went out and I was like, oh, I could get some rose hips. Um, I don't know, they've just been on the mind, I guess. So I tried to collect some from this ornamental um, rose bush that you can see here and I didn't realize that they don't fully fruit all of the time like not wild roses so that yield was not very good I did also get some apples from the ground um, as you can see it's it's raining while I'm outside and I collected some of the wrap the apples that were that were on the ground that weren't um, you know bad <laughs> weren't mushy or full of worms or anything um, and, uh, I washed those off a little bit, and, um, I thought, well, okay, maybe it wasn't all for nothing going out in the rain. I got some apples. Um, these rose hips are terrible, and I'm not even sure if they're really rose hips. I think they might just be, like, the dead, like, husk of, a, <laughs> of the bottom of a rose, um, because they have to be, um, like, properly, um, like, fruit. I guess for it to be a rose hip and um i just i'm not entirely sure about like these ornamental varieties uh that i have so i had three rose hips overall that were maybe worth something and they were worth seeds <laughs> which is exciting i didn't i don't know why i didn't realize that roses had seeds which sounds like a really dumb thing to say but i just always thought they were grown from like cuttings or something um, they might still typically be grown from cuttings, but anyway, um, I got these, these three rose hips and opened them up, um, and found seeds inside. So I was like, oh, wow, I'll save these and I'll be able to grow some new roses, which is kind of exciting. <laughs> and then I remembered there are these rose hips, like bountiful rose hips from a wild rose out in this field. You could see the pictures. Um, they're from my photography video. So they've been on my mind. Um, so anyway, I trekked out in the mud. As you can see, my shoes are laden with mud. Just absolutely um, made it difficult to walk and everything. Um, but I collected a bunch of rose hips. Not all of them, maybe about half that were on this bush because I think birds and, and other animals uh, eat from them. So I left some for them. Um, and sorry, what a loud truck, my goodness. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully you can, otherwise I sound crazy. But yeah, I got all these rose hips and they're a little bit past their prime, I'd say. Um, they're wrinkled. Um, usually you're supposed to get them in like October, but it's the first of December. So they're, you know, they're, they're a little bit, they're a little bit old. And so they might they might be past their prime. So anyway, I took, I'd say about half of these rose hips and I took the seeds from them, um, made a quite a large pile of that. And then with um, both the the kind of fruity, fleshy layer of, of the rose hip and the other half of whole rose hips, I put those into the food dehydrator. Um, I also sliced up I think two apples and I put those um, on the food dehydrator as well. So now I'm dehydrating the rose hip fruit for um, making tea. I guess you're supposed to boil them for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something in order to make the tea. So yeah, I'll dry these up um, and then I'll grind them into more of like a powdery consistency and then use that as the... Um, as the tea, which is exciting. I'm, I don't know what it tastes like, and I might use it with um with other tea base, um, just in case I don't like the flavor, but it is really full of vitamins. So here you can see how I put them on my food dehydrator. I probably could have just used the rack without this like mesh thing, but I used it anyway. And then I decided to plant um, the seeds. I planted four seeds per each of these small tins. 
Um, I had replanted the plants that were originally in these tins. So I'm going to have these out on the porch. Um, one of them has the like cultivated roses um, for cultivated rose um, seeds. And the other one has four wild rose seeds. seeds. And um, yeah, I guess they're supposed to kind of get cold. The seeds are supposed to get cold over the winter. So that's why I decided to put them in these pots now and put them outside um, and then I'll control watering them on the porch. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully the tea is good and thanks for watching.